you know black folks and forget it because this is not um uh, if, if i go to the right one okay it's not that okay and you've seen this in the other video it's fresh from a 20 we'll wash again tomorrow as we will get footage because we know with all this action we still get this footage so there's no excuse for the satellites to go down so and it's not this which is a comet but basically they didn't know about this and this is why they turned the satellite because basically I can go show you my videos that basically we started I started showing you that it was very unusual for a shot that you will basically be able to see and what I kind of screwed up on and basically I have to start watching is when you get the going this fast and I'm trying to remember if the idea that they just gave us two hours of footage that day because no matter what we have a fast moving star that's right there and I'll just pop that up to 400 real fast and blow in on it and basically you can see that now that might have been the beginning of our comet or it's partly to do with something because then I'm trying to figure out which one it was because I did do a video and if someone can remind me which video it was that I made that it showed where the satellite turned around to get a look at this stuff from Stereo B and I might find it here in a second and realize the action from way out in space that's bigger than the sun because look at all the disco action that we were getting you see the disco action we were getting on the 29th I'm going back but see there's there's very significant huge light in space okay they don't put white in here basically white is the light of all the stars and everything in space and as you can see bamo okay so I have footage of B when it turned around now I'm going to show you in the future that you can see the sun in different ways. There's always different color lenses and everything like that. This is all electrical. It's not flames. It's electrical flames. It's electrical heat and it's huge. Okay, This is bigger than Jupiter. That's bigger than Jupiter. All this stuff is, this is like 10 times bigger than Jupiter here. This is 5 times probably bigger than Jupiter here. Okay, The one thing I'm going to show you through this video real fast is the idea that they, it's a false title because the sun doesn't flip. But they didn't realize what they tried to pull a spoof on people. I'm going to keep the cursor down and it runs pretty fast. Now there's our remnant to the left that's very famous and huge. But there's way more than one remnant. Okay. In actual factual on the bottom here, this is a time lapse over time. And if you watch the clock, and no matter what, in the middle it'll tell you what the satellite's doing. It'll tell you that the satellite is basically... See, that's CAL maneuver. So basically, they maneuver the satellites. Okay? So. And that's a lapse of time. You watch the clocks. And they maneuver the satellites. Okay? And they also can maneuver the lenses also. And there's all kinds of stuff they can do. Mirrors. I've told you about that. Zooming in 360 degrees in space, they can take a shot. Okay, so you can see only NASA gets this view screen. Okay, and how it would show you basically, I'll take it up CAL maneuver. Okay, so this is NASA's screen, they're never going to show you this. Okay, they only and basically, I have to go in and zoom in with the magnifier, and you'll see in here on. XE-54 and 55 and Taurus was behind us and stuff like that. So what you're seeing in the camera, do not believe that it's Taurus. It is not. It's absolutely not Taurus. It's not XE-54. We are around in the area of the Big Bangs. And there was Big Bangs. There wasn't just a Big Bang. Space is too infinite in size and eventually my theory is going to be correct. It's way too much stuff and spread out to be a Big Bang. Okay? It's been a bunch of Big Bangs, i.e. black holes, which aren't black holes, which are basically suns going supernova, and that's correct. Space is constantly Big Banging. There's Big Bangs, okay? And space is tons of electrical activity, which is radioactivity. That's why you have different colored stars, and that's the actual factual to a nuclear that's right, bomb. And if you want to watch nuclear colors, go watch the live sites over in Fukafudja. And as you can see, Earth is there, and as you see the comet, and I'll pop over to that real fast, and you'll realize that the comet that I show you on the footage from the 9th, that we have the freshest video footage of it, 
and there's pictures you can keep on seeing stuff that what's going on. Okay, Earth is there, XE54, and we're locked at today's JPL positioning that the stuff's still close by in space. Now there's massive distances; it's millions of miles. Uh, the closest thing is going to be DA14, which is going to get down to 16,854 feet. Possible, the closest it can get. Now it could get closer because of magnetical and stuff like that. And the number one thing is our atmosphere. The satellites will be fine. Other countries and stuff will try to, yes, everything's going to try to pull off some kind of power maneuvers. You never know. It would be the opportune, so that's why the, the bigness on the military and squashing certain freedom of speech and stuff like that doesn't matter. It's all strategy, okay? Markets, world markets, all kinds of stuff. Now, DA-14, 13th through the 16th, because we don't know, because everything has different speeds and times, i.e., and now... You can actually realize that when I go back, and I'm pretty sure that I've still got it locked up, and here's your comment, okay? So as you know, and what you've seen it do to Jupiter, uh, to Venus, and the electrical magnetical that was going by and everything like that, and if you also watch, okay, it's only 15 minutes each video, and basically I got fresh footage here for you on, and, this, and it's basically going to show you the actual factual that we have quakes going on okay 6.5 Kazakhstan okay some that are dialing in but the data is not getting recorded yet and some of them get hushed up okay they don't get recorded the quakes are not going to we are going to keep going probably till 2016 I believe or, or farther now that's a, a strung out theory I could be wrong I don't really care about that we don't just get to this heightened now and then die off. It's a clock. Space is infinite. There's huge stuff out there, and it takes many years for stuff. Let's see what we got on the second page of earthquake data. And I can take you to showing you what Hawaii showed a little bit ago, too. And I got a picture in case it even goes away that Hawaii was the most active today. And this is the 13th. And that's the mag there, just in front of the M's. So there's plenty of quakes going on, and that goes off into the 12th. Okay, so the quake activity hasn't stopped or slowed down at all, and currently the only ink really was in Hawaii today, so far, so far, but the key time now is the middle of the afternoon, and I showed you the heat index, and it was triangulated the other day, and there you see Hawaii, and I don't even have to take a picture and go back in there and there's put your activity in Hawaii, so the volcano or lava flow or something is going on in Hawaii, because the rest is pretty much... Uh, very clean on the uh, graphs. Okay. So all the heat records and everything like that because it's sun rays from outer space, beta gamma, sun rays that are safe also but the idea that we have radioactive stars that are out there and there's way more than just the sun hitting earth and we have drought and so forth and we've got lots of quakes. We've got a lot of stuff going on. So, so I've showed you gamma rays before I've showed you RADs and CPM, which is high all over the world because of Fuka Fudge up. Jet streams, and it'll eventually get to everyone because eventually the jet streams go all the way around the world and get all the way through the atmosphere, all the way around the world, and everybody will get the beta gamma, which is cancerous causing, and hopefully it stays at its high altitude. Snow over the next 7 to 12 years is not going to be in rainwater also. It's not going to be the most pure water that you rain water that you've ever gotten in your life because it's going to have the palladium plutonium uranium cesium one through everything one through all the cesiums you can imagine 130 all the 100s all the cesium and everything like that okay you're not going to die uh groundwater is better uh na nature does a good job of filtering it in lakes and waters and then groundwater and so forth but there's then there's more gamma rays that we have in the video here this one here, okay. So this is going to be your latest and ba greatest. All my videos are basically a daily flipping uh, diary of space and data and factual and scientific physics facts. What's going on in space? What's going on here on Earth? And what we got going on in space? And we're going to have a comet coming around us, DA14, and we'll be more on that. And it's going to be February 13th through the 16th of 2013. I keep on for certain reasons because I have powerful people that are after my intangible wealth that are going to keep getting it right between the eyeballs on this. Basically, we're going to go to the moon one of these days. 
I'm going to have a drink at a bar on, a, on the moon and pick up on some chick before the day I die. I tell you that right now. There's going to be a bar on the moon, and I have my plans to make it. And it's not going to be sitting in one place all the time, and it's not going to be orbiting the moon. Okay? We're going to build a bar, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm talking to the gentlemen, the people who move money and control power around the world. We are going to have a drink on moon, on the moon, at a bar, and pick up on chicks. Okay? It's going to happen. I'm young. Okay? The moon is going to be a resort. It's that simple. It's warm up there, but we got air conditioners. So whoever tries to sell you shuck and drive today that the idea, the actual factual of me showing you the comment in that video that I showed you is my last one up there that on the window. You go watch that. Watch all my videos because over time you can see everything that's been going on for the last two flipping years. With space, Fuka fudge up, radiation, CPM, all kinds of stuff. Okay, space, data, actual factuals, and pretty soon all the information on pretty much the first year, I'm going to start basically my nonprofit and it's basically for not burning books in schools and rewriting history and the actual factual. And that's what it is nonprofit, helping libraries, and so forth, and functioning and getting you the actual factual truth data. That no matter what, that comment that came by today was not, absolutely not, this one here or anyone else that any other comment that they were going to try to sell you it was basically out of the blue and it was along with all this material but NASA knew about it they were keeping an eye on it because they keep an eye with a bunch of different telescopes on a bunch of stuff and it might have slipped by them it might have been like oh wow but basically it's not XC54 don't let anybody say because that's where XC54 is today okay right now that's where it's at out in space 0 0.0121 AU that other comment was bigger than Mercury. Mercury's the size of the moon, and it was way out past Mercury, and it was even possibly way past Venus, but it made Venus's atmosphere do that, okay? And there could be, the I could be completely wrong, it'll keep getting weighed in about the Saturn thing, but it doesn't matter. We know it for absolute sure. And let me go back to the, the magnetics. Absolutely, no matter what, no matter infinite anything, we are correct on Mercury and Venus in these videos and the object that's possibly still out there and I didn't want to shut her around but it's these videos here hottie wow be no black hottie pure holy fact be no black hottie 360 fact be no black okay we nail these magnetics down on these right there okay and I can even pump into it a little bit right here with our little software and move over to the left and all these magnetical lines and that object right there, I'm not pointing but it's the fourth line to the left and to the right. The fourth line is Earth where that little, actually that little magnifier is at on that picture and that object between Earth and Venus is actually there. Now if it disappears then that was our comet, okay, that went around Venus, okay. And that's basically, but we're going to keep an eye on it, and we're going to want to see these magnetical shots. So we need to keep an eye on these compressed magnetical shots here, okay? Now, there's a very high possibility since it had, that's, that's, this is Venus, okay? Combination flaring with something else when all this electrical activity happened. Now, they're turning stereo behind upside down, okay? So when you're looking at it, basically, this is our comet that came in pretty much more than likely, and or either it's a planet down there but if you flip that upside down and I got that on deal in the future videos we're going to be going through this and then basically what you do too is you'd flip this upside down and also get a look at it and basically you zoom in on this stuff here and here and you pretty much should be able to see what we've got and this ain't disappearing yet so we're going to be keeping an eye on this so as we know that that comet came by we know that it's not the comet in this shot because this is today on the 13th, okay? So this is beginning to get a lot more that we keep on, that it's either ice on and the only other possibility, and there's no magnetical line, okay? There's no magnetical line on that, and let me pump in. So no matter what, and you see the date, it's the 13th, that's there, and if it was to be Cyrus, we would see some kind of magnetical line and I really doubt, and I've just basically thrown, no one's told me it's Cyrus. 
we I'm pretty much that it's ice on okay and all these comments that we're getting ahead of time are the beginning of that coming around in November of next year okay